Hi Aquarius, welcome to your new love, possibly true love reading. This is timeless, so hopefully whenever you see it, it resonates. Um, this takes a look at some, maybe the way you're gonna meet the next love interest or um, some possible characteristics about them. Um, I'm gonna try for timing. It's just a, a fun sneak peek into maybe what's around the corner for you as far as love for all of you singles out there. I shuffle off camera as far as the the rainbow shuffling or whatever that the casino deck shuffling is uh, it messes with the cloth and it also messes with the sound this is a general reading it will get specific because i'm going to clarify where it makes sense to do so i'm not going to clarify all of them some of them are self-explanatory check your moon rising and venus for a more well-rounded picture and also there's other channels um, i don't know any of them personally but i do have some of the featured channel section that are pretty good okay let's get into it Communication and clarity. Okay, so you're feeling pretty positive about your love situation and meeting this new person. Some of you might have even already met them. All right. So we got the lovers reversed, the hierophant upright, eight of pentacles reversed, emperor upright, seven of wands reversed, and five of pentacles reversed. All right. So your future true love or new love, <laughs> your future new love's possibly true love is probably single, obviously, or might be going through a divorce. Um, I think the attraction from what's looking at what's here is going to be slow going. They're probably going to need to build trust because they're still struggling with why their relationship didn't work, um, their previous relationship didn't work, and they also are, maybe there's some guilt with that, and because of that, they're also, not because of that, but they also might be struggling in their job. Um, they might somehow, uh, maybe this divorce or relationship that they were in um, had something to do with their job. So they might be out of work because of the divorce, or they might be just struggling and they did a lot to make it work and it didn't and they're really struggling with that from a practical point of view. This could be Gemini, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or um, Taurus here. This could be Aries. This is fire energies. Uh, so Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and this is again earth energy. So back to the reading. The attraction will be gradual. We've got somebody struggling with work or the um, fact that no matter how much work they put into it, how hard they worked on the relationship, it didn't work out. And hmm, the, the obstacle that your partner is going to face, and this is big time, is trust. They're going to they're gonna have issues with trust, trust issues. Okay, um, maybe they were cheated on. And hmm. What you need to do to be ready with this person. I wonder if I'm reading for you, Aquarius. Maybe these are your issues because this talks about um, giving in and giving up. Like this, this talks about backing down. I think this might be instead of rushing in and wanting to share your clarity about the situation and say, hey, this is not a problem, blah, 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 or whatever. It, this is about you backing down and backing off and letting things unfold in the time they're supposed to rather than some of, you know, some of you might want to rush in and, and fix it. Well, I can handle that for you. Or, oh, it's easy. Just think about it this way or whatnot. And I think the advice is to back down and back off. And it looks like you're going to meet them through church or some kind of spiritual guidance, place some kind of uh, community outreach, something that offers emotional support or community group settings. And I know that's really big, but I mean, this is a general reading. Okay, so let's clarify a few here. I'm gonna clarify this one. Pretty clear on these two. I wanna clarify this Eight of Pentacles reversed here. I hope my sound's okay. I'm trying to talk at a decent level. Got it pinned where I always have it. Mm, okay, yeah, they're just, this is about them feeling 
guilt and shame and sadness over why it didn't work out, I think. And they're really struggling for that forgiveness and balance and moderation. For some of them, it could be their job was connected to the marriage, like this was a business partnership and, it, and you know, it split up. But I think for the most part, this is about the effort and time they put into a relationship that's just not working and it didn't work. Um, it just wasn't going anywhere and that's why they broke up and that they're still kind of dealing with that. So when you meet this person, they're going to be, um, the attraction will be much slower. It's going to be a, a growth. It'll have to be based on security and um, almost religion or just, not religion, but just traditional norms like the constant contact or, you know, the steady progressive dating like every Saturday night or you know, every, just things that would make them feel secure. And one of those is like constant contact and emotional connection. This person's gonna really need that because they're struggling with the past relationship that didn't work out. And they've probably got, some of them might've been cheated on, okay? Or just a culmination of a couple of relationships did this. This could be culmination of all the relationships that they're feeling like, you know, I was cheated on or this is the one common denominator in this relationship it never works out because of this and they're really this has come to a head for them they're really struggling with that um, on a grand scale here because it's just stuck in their craw and they're trying to work it out and they're really needing some help with looking at it with both sides and instead of feeling guilty looking at it so they can just just look at each other's culpability there's always an exchange so for whatever somebody horrible did to them um, maybe it's not that there was their fault at all i'm not saying that what i'm saying is instead of them up and leaving we can't always do that and then you sit there and beat yourself i should have would have could i should have left well maybe you couldn't have you know maybe you wanted to but you couldn't have and, and anyway my point being is that they're going to need help balancing out the guilt and working through some of that shame and anger and guilt and all that it's a big task Aquarius. i'm just saying big task and like i said the attraction is going to be slow and gradual and they're going to need to feel secure. First and foremost, they're going to need to have that stability and security. And they're going to need help with trust. Okay, that's probably obvious if they're dealing with a culmination of relationships that didn't work out or just guilt and frustration over that. Um, advice for you is to be hands off and to just let it play out. They're working on this. It's not that they're they just feel stuck and frustrated. So while you can help with that, you can't fix it for them. And that might be your inclination because you see things very clearly. You're like, I got this. We can just talk about it. We can, you know what I mean? This is mental clarity, but they, they need that, not you. And they're going to be slower to come to it than you are. So the advice is to just, and that's not, <laughs> that's not a strong suit for Aries to be, or Aries Aquarius to be patient or to wait this out. I get it. But, um, that, that will be a challenge for the both of you is, for you waiting and taking, going slow enough for their taste and then learning to trust you and feel secure with you. Like I said, you might meet each other at some community outreach or support or um, church. Oh, nice, okay. So um, sometimes this is how you will meet the person. Um, other times, I, I feel like it's gonna be kind of a, huh. It's almost like you're in a position to help them rein their feelings in. Oh gosh, I, we're not talking about somebody being um, indiscreet or unethical here in a, in a position. But it feels like this is about conserving and locking down control on things. The miserly card, possible finances, somebody that helps you to manage your finance. And then from there, it's like, oh, there's an interest, you know? I think this, honestly, this this might be to where you're looking at maybe your business or something you do, volunteering something, is about helping people manage their money, helping them sort out their feelings, something in that sense. And I'm not talking about somebody being unethical here. I'm talking about happenstance or chance and, you know, somehow, some way, this person shows up in need of advice regarding budgeting or just a workshop on feelings or even like a a webinar or something and that's how it starts okay totally random I know but that's what we got here okay so and maybe that's why there's this kind of backing off and um, letting things unfold is because if, if you do meet under the you don't want to be unethical like there you know what I mean you wouldn't want that to stain it or anything so but you're you're gonna be in a position of help 
and they're going to be the ones seeking help. They're going to be recovering from something and you're the one that's going to kind of provide advice and solace and it's going to go from there. But I'm not implying anything unethical here. I'm not talking about, oh, you know, hot for teacher or somebody's going to, you know, hook up with their counselor or something. No, no, I'm not saying that. Meditate. Whoops. This is stuck together. Message from afar and meditation. It sounds like that might be what this is right here. Um, that you're probably a lot farther along on a, a spiritual quest or path or something. You're, you have much more mental clarity and a balance on things like that spirituality as well as intuition and logic and all that than maybe this person that you're going to be meeting does because they're still dealing, like I said, with all those emotions from a failed relationship or failed relationships. And you probably have a daily practice of meditation. You're probably very spiritually connected and have, have ritualized that to where it's a very... Uh, everyday routine thing for you to be grounded and anchored spiritually and probably very intuitive, you know, see things very clearly. And they are probably just starting out on that. So that's, I think that's where you come in is this, I don't think this is a weird mentorship gone wrong though. I think it's just somebody searching and you show up to help and then it goes from there. I get when they stick. Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. I think that is kind of crystallizing what this, your love interest is going to need to know. You know, guilt, self-esteem issues. They're probably going to need help internalizing that or hearing that from somebody. That somebody is you probably. <laughs> That's what they're going to be struggling with. A lovely card this is about creativity and imagination um this to me speaks to okay like three things just flew in there <laughs> what this feels like is that this person even though you're much farther along um maybe you're even older than this person might be younger than you um but there's a there's a kind of a discrepancy as far as age or experience i can't tell which but this person is going to be very inspiring to you so maybe i i don't they're going to be like a muse. It's going to kind of rejuvenate. Maybe, well, duh. Okay. I don't know why I didn't see that. Uh, creativity. Muse, that's, this is speaking to the same thing right here. As far as they're going to just, your interest in them will be more than just wanting to help out. You're actually going to be interested in them in a person and they're going to inspire you and not in a weird way. Like, Oh, they're weak. Let me help and rescue them. And then they will owe me. No, that's not what this is about. This is just about being inspired by this person's courage and struggle and it kind of reignites something in you that you find very relatable and endearing and they are very appreciative of any kind of help and just you backing off and letting them carp flop honestly letting them struggle um so it doesn't make it weird for them like they're beholden to you or i, I feel like the aquarians that i'm reading for have a really ethical approach about this so they know what to do and what to say and when but you're going to be very inspired and endeared by this person um, with their struggle. So that kind of adds another layer to when you meet them and how. And that just gives more credence to the fact that this is going to be very slow going because it's going to start off maybe not as a mentorship, but just someone giving a hand up, a leg up, whatever the saying is, a leg up, not a hand out, something like that. And then maybe when this person feels like they're spiritually recovered or that they're financially recovered from everything that went wrong here, that's when it starts to take to another level or go to another level. Okay. This hope we're going to try for timing and try for timing here, Aquarius. Okay. This just flew out and yeah. Okay. So that, um, the three of swords reverse speaks to them needing to get over this, uh, this heartache issue. However, um, if we're looking at three of swords, it's, it's talking about three days. From when you see this video just saying so we've got that okay it speaks to someone resolving the this heartache and then after three days after that happens or possibly three days from seeing this video timing is wonky we're gonna try for it anyway all right last shuffle and i'm gonna show you and we got four days <laughs> so we got three or four days probably 
after you either seeing this video, <coughs> excuse me, a cough, or um, three or four days after this person makes the turn. And I know that's a lot more nebulous and vague, but it just, this isn't gonna happen quickly, okay? So another way to look at this as far as timing is that we got um, autumn. This could be an autumn. So three or four days into autumn, three or four days after the autumn officially starts, okay? So whenever you see this, that's the timing for this. So if the first day, if you're in the Western house, if you're in the States, uh, the timing is September 22nd would be autumn, okay? So we're be talking about autumn here, three or four days after autumn or three or four days after you see this. So September 22nd, I think if you're in the down under or that would be what? Let's see, that would be like March 21st, 22nd, right? Okay, all right. I hope this was helpful, Aquarius, and I hope to see you in the next video. Okay, take care.